Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video which I am creating it for beginners and uh, in this video I want to show you the reverse rows function which is present under the transform menu. So this is one of the functionality as a beginner you should know so that you don't have to basically create or get your head uh, banging on the wall like how do I really need to reverse the rows right. So that's why I wanted to show you this very quick basic functionality of Power Query, right? And if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this this sheet, which is about uh, which is where I'm capturing all of my Power BI videos, right? The video link is present here in column B, so you can search any of my videos that I have created in Power Query Power BI domain. Uh, using the video link jump onto that and uh, topic category and difficulty level is something also I am giving you so that you know whether you are interacting with the beginner video, advanced video, intermediate level video, all of these tagging from my perspective I have given it over here right. So with that information let me go back and uh, bring show you this functionality very quickly. So in new source you have Excel workflow and uh, the data set is present here for this link is also present where you know you can go to my data set folder and get this data okay so once we have this then uh, i'll just wait for a couple of seconds to get this information and uh, whole idea while it is coming whole idea is that for any scenario if you want a data source order in a reverse format then you can use this functionality right so scenarios in which let's say for you the important rows are the last one which you want to have it as part of the reviewing or the first row or want to load it into a data set as the first rows then you can do that so right now if you see this is how the data set is really present and if you see there is uh, no particular order as such over here right so with this data source order you have the i think first thousand rows which is being loaded right and you want the you want to review the last couple of rows or last rows so you want to you can do that reverse rows option that way all the rows will be reversed that means the last row will become the first row and the first row will become the last row so this is just very this is just one very simple step but very important in case you want to review the data so if you see this this is how it is coming so clearly it is having a lot of null values right and then you may investigate like is it because uh, it is taking a lot of null values based on the uh, you know data set that you are having which is basically capturing a null rows because this unnecessarily creates an issue so you may want and say oh i don't want that and i will uncheck this but looks like some sort of an issue is happening so i will again click on reverse row and uh, and get the data set back and let me see what it gives me but the whole idea behind reversing the rows is you get the last row as the first row so I will just need to wait one more time and see this because it may happen that if my data set is huge which I know it is not it's only 10,000 rows I believe and um, column size is around 15 to 20 columns so that way you know it should ideally do that but as we are seeing it is creating an error so I'm just trying to do the reverse and trying to see what it will do so clearly you know all right so here it is so definitely there is null rows looks like in our data set which is creating issues and limit of based on the thousand value raised so this is something you know very very useful so looks like some of the nulls which are coming and that is something we may want to avoid so if i just undo this you will still see that in the previous steps we got a lot of nulls and uh, that may be one of the things you may say that okay i don't want any null in my data so you can do the operation you can say okay uncheck the null and click okay right and then you know evaluate the desired output so we'll wait for a couple of seconds 
and then see and here also you can see the formula that is that is got applied on the removing the null rules so i'll wait for a couple of seconds and see what desired output it is giving and uh, yep this should help in resolving the issues like these so i'll just pause this and come back once the output is coming all right so here is the output so that means now my data is clean and i can go and load this so you could see right in front of you the use case that unnecessary the null rows are coming because the date the while importing the data it was picking a lot of null rows from the data set and we don't want it we want a clean data so this is why it is very important that you review the last couple of rows and see what is coming because generally we don't do that and reverse rows really help us in that direction with that uh, thank you so much this is the functionality i wanted you to know that as part of a beginner you should know this with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic